hearing. <clears throat> Sergeant Hanna, can you please stop your cloud for a moment? Okay, you're good to go with the cloud. You want me to record now? Yes, please. Sergeant Hope. Good morning and welcome to the Committee on Fire and Emergency Management. All members and staff, please turn on your video and place your electronic devices to silent. Chair, we are ready to begin. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. We will now begin the hearing for the Committee on Fire and Emergency Management. I'd like to thank my colleagues who have joined us today, uh, Councilman Brannon, Councilman Cabrera, Councilman Deutsch, Councilman Miller, um, Council Member, I believe that is it. If I left someone out, I will correct it later. We are here today to vote on Resolution 1062, sponsored by Council Member Danique Miller, which calls for the salaries of New York City emergency medical service personnel to be comparable to New York City's firefighters and police officers. Back in January, this committee held an oversight hearing examining the challenges faced by EMS due to high rates of attrition. At that meeting, many hardworking EMTs and paramedics delivered inspiring testimony describing the immense financial and emotional strain placed on them on a daily basis, with workers often taking second jobs and maximizing overtime pay to ensure they are earning a living wage. This was before the COVID-19 outbreak hit New York City. During this deadly pandemic, EMS workers have literally been the city's first responders in providing essential medical assistance. In this challenging time for New York City, our EMS workers provided to all the vital and heroic role they've always served. The pay disparity between EMS workers and other first responders has long existed, and it is overdue for our mayor to provide these essential workers with the benefits and pay they deserve. I would now like to invite Council Member Miller, the sponsor of today's resolution being voted on, to make a brief statement. Council Member Miller, uh, you have the conch. First of all, I, I really, really want to thank you and your committee members for the leadership on this issue. We, we, we know that this is something that has been uh, prevalent throughout our city for, for quite a while, um, only highlighted by the COVID-19, and, and you have expressed so very well uh, the, the plight of the men and women of the EMS, EMT, uh, of FDNY, that they have really labored uh, uh, on behalf of eight and a half million New Yorkers day in and day out for a number of years, and they have been the victims of, of, of pay disparities. And so um, uh, there's much to be said about this, but I think the most that we can say and really saying that we as a council demonstrate and value the work that they have done uh, and, and not just uh, continually, but particularly in this time of COVID-19, uh, um, that we can really stand behind them and support this legislation. I, I want to thank all of my co-sponsors. I want to thank again the chair and, and ask that this committee uh, vote this uh, legislation. Uh, thank you. I want to acknowledge we've been joined by Council Member Alan Mazel. Welcome to the party, uh, Council Member Mazel. Uh, and thank you, Council Member Miller. Uh, I'll now call on legislative documents to call the vote. Good morning. William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Fire and Emergency Services on Resolution 1062A. Chair Borelli. Aye. Cabrera. I want to congratulate uh, and commend our council member uh, Miller for his leadership in this piece of, of legislation. It's so important uh, that uh, we move this forward and with that, I vote aye. Deutsch. I vote aye. Mizell. Yes. Brennan. If City Hall doesn't get it now, they never will. I vote aye. 
By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, resolution 1062A has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Thank you very much. And with that, uh, I will close the hearing and gavel out and welcome the next committee chair.